Good Monday morning on February 24, 2020. 224 2020. That's not a very exciting date, is it? <laughs> 2020 is going to be over with before we know it. So, hey, how are y'all coming along on your pants? I noticed that there's eight photos, and I think one of them's mine, over at Instagram at hashtag, hashtag, SFD, like SureFit Designs, SFD Joy Pants. Go over there and check them out. They are turning out really good. One lady made them out of Ponty, and they look amazing. I want to make my next pair out of Ponty. And my next pair, my next pair, I want to make jeans, I want to make leggings, I want to make everything. But I told you I was going to work on my quilt, remember? And I messed up my quilt already. <laughs> Can y'all tell what's wrong with my block? I don't guess there's anything wrong with it if I don't tell you what's wrong with it. <laughs> but the thing is, I ran out of fabric. I bought the... Um, the stack of 10 inch squares, I can't remember what they're called, layer cakes or something. I bought the 10 inch squares that are the same fabric line from Edita Sitar Laundry Basket Quilts. And so I've been going through and picking out some pieces that she doesn't include in her monthly kits. And I picked out this piece right here. And unbeknownst to me, it wasn't enough. So my house, this house is fine over there. This one. But this house has three doors. It was supposed to just have a door in the middle. <laughs> but my house has three doors. So, I like that. I'm calling it an apartment complex. And it's going to be Suite A, Suite B, and Suite C or something. So, <laughs> so this one's going to go right here. Because somehow... I have the pattern, you know, I paid for the block of the month from Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I have the pattern, and I have the papers, but somehow, one paper, one paper has disappeared from the face of the earth, and I need a block for this group right here, I need the directions, and it's on the paper that I lost, so I'm having to do one, two, three, four. Instead of doing month five, I'm having to do month six. So month six goes right here. And then there's another house that goes over there. And I'm getting ready to make that house. So I'm hoping to get this finished this week. And then I'll finish doing that Christmas quilt that's on the long arm. And then I'll put this one on the long arm. And then I want to make some Sure Fit Design blouses. All right, I have something new to show you guys. Something new, but it's not blue. <laughs> what is it when you get married? Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. <laughs> this is something new. Now, you know about the new rulers that I found called Quilter Select. I was watching Missouri Star Quilt Company one day, and Jenny and, what is that other girl's name? She's so absolutely darling. What is her name? Misty. Misty's her granddaughter-in-law, or her daughter-in-law. I think it's her daughter-in-law, married to her son, Misty. They were talking about the Quilter Select rulers and why they don't use them. Because the Quilter Select rulers, the thing about them is, when you press down on them, they don't move. And so Jenny and Misty were saying, well, we want our rulers to move. We want to be able to move them. Hey, they move really, really easy. There's no problem moving it all around. You can move it, move it, move it. It doesn't stick. You can move it easily. It doesn't stick until you push down on it. Then it does not move. I love it. I have another one at my other house. It was so expensive, I only bought one of them. <laughs> and I don't want to tote it back and forth. I'm being stingy with myself. But there's another ruler that I finally allowed myself to have, and it just came today just came today. I always tell myself, oh, you have too many rulers, you have too much fabric, you have too much thread, you have too much, too much, too much. Well, I finally decided I wanted to try this ruler out. So, it just came, and I think it is the coolest thing. For one thing, that's not made for quilting, it's made for sewing. This is Sure Fit Designs. 
I think Glenda calls it the line drafter. Yeah, line drafter. But I put it up next to my quilting ruler and it's just as thick. So you could actually use this for a quilting ruler. And look it, it has a handle. I had three or four of those kind of handles that have suction cups and you stick them on your ruler and then you're supposed to be able to pick them up. Mine kept just falling on the floor off the ruler. I had my rulers all on the wall, you've seen them. And I'd just be over here minding my own business and kerplop and I'd look over there and one of those things is on the floor. And God help you if you pick it up by the handles because they just came off in your hands and the ruler stayed where it was. So I hated those handles. So I told myself I could have permission to have this ruler. <laughs> Let me get up close and show you this ruler closer. It's got a red line down the center of it. A red line or burgundy. So you can line that up with your straight of grain line, I suppose. Now, I haven't used it yet. It's also got red dashes where the 5 8 inch line is. On the sides, on the bottom, and on the top where the 5 8 inch lines are. So that is majorly awesome. So for all your straight areas, you wouldn't actually have to have the... Um, the designer stylus you could just use this for the straight areas and it's very lightweight very very lightweight I just love it I haven't used it yet <laughs> it has 1 inch to 24 inches on this side and it has 1 inch to 24 inches marked on that side and it has 1 to 6 inches marked on each end every division in between is half inches and quarter inches. Half inches and quarter inches. There's quarter inches right here on the very edge. Quarter inches here on this edge. This is just awesome. I am so excited. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy one for my other house now. You know i got to have two of everything, right? <laughs> very, very lightweight. I know you will love it. Uh, when I would see Glenda using it, number one, I thought it would be heavy. Number two, I thought the handle would be bulky and that the screws would come through the other end. But I'm showing you, they don't. And the handle's very lightweight. It's not clunky. It's not like a man thing. It's like a girl thing. Really nice. So, hey, Linda, I like your ruler. Now, I've only had it like 10 minutes, you guys. I thought, I'm going to run upstairs and show you about this ruler. <laughs> And there's my phone. Ignore my phone. So anyway, I am going to finish these quilt blocks this week, but in between finishing them, I'm going to get out my SureFit Designs dress kit, and I'm going to start divide, just, I'm going to start a little bit of trying to learn how to say my words. I'm going to start designing a top because a lot of you have asked me to do a sew along. On making a sure fit designs blouse and I want to do that but I don't want to do anything for anybody until I'm comfortable that I can remember how to do it myself okay so I'm gonna start with that I have a drawing someplace I have everything someplace don't I <laughs> I just had it out the other day anyway um, Glenda at sure fit designs these are free she has in some of her free stuff if you go to her website surefitdesigns.com there's some place on the page where it says free stuff and part of the free stuff hold on I'll show you because I have it filed somewhere here it is in my file cabinet under SureFit Designs isn't that organized so this is called SFD Sally so Glenda lets you have this page that you can print out for free I'm trying to find one I have it totally covered up with something here's one there she is, her name's Sally, and she's naked. And so you can draw designs on her. Your very own designs. Or you can like look something up on the internet, go to Penny's, go to Belt, go to anywhere, and look at their clothes, and then you can like draw it on her. And I have done that, and I have all these drawings in here of things I want to make. And not only is there a front, Somewhere, Sally has a backside. 
I don't have it in this file yet. I have been going through all the paperwork stacks all over my sewing room here, and I've been trying to get them all filed and put away and neaten up. You know, if I'm going to do tutorials, I need to have a cleaner, more organized space to do it in. So, I'm going to show you some of the things I have drawn on Miss Sally, okay? Oh, this one's really hard to see. I think that one was for my mother. Here's one that I, this was for my mother too. <clears throat> Remember when my mother was here and I made her a whole new wardrobe? I had a striped fabric that my mother picked out. You know me, I'm never going to have long sleeves and cuffs, so I know this wasn't for me. But I was arranging the stripes on her, and this is exactly how I made my mother's top, and it was beautiful. If, if I can find a picture that I took of it, I will put it right here. Okay, hopefully you just saw a picture of my mother wearing the finished blouse. I threw that one away. <laughs> Here's another one I drew. Now this one um, might have been for me. It doesn't have cuffs and it doesn't have a collar and it's got pockets. So this might have been for me I was going to make. I never did. But I just want you to see how I drew it on Miss Sally. Fun, huh? Fun, fun. And then this is one... This is a pattern. I copied the back of some pattern. I don't know what its number is now because I didn't copy the number part. But I copied the back of it where it had the line drawings and then I started coloring on it because I wanted to color block a top. So that's another thing you can do when you're designing a top for yourself. It's so much fun. Here's another one that I did. This was going to be for me. I never made it yet. I just spent several hours one day playing with Sally. Here's another one. I'm pretty sure that one was for my mother. Because of the long sleeves. No cuffs. And I know she loved purple. Now what this one was, was I drew a line up here. You can't see it. Let me see if I can draw it so you can see it. There's a line right there, the blue line, where the fabric is different. At the top of the sleeve and the top of the blouse, the fabric is different. And this one is the one I want to make. This is the one that I want to take my new line drafter ruler and my Sure Fit Designs dress kit and I want to make this blouse for me. I just invented it all by myself. <laughs> Has an empire waist, and a funky collar that's not up around my neck and a cap sleeve and a rounded hem. So that's the one that I want to do first. <laughs> do you like it? It won't be purple. <laughs> and it won't be knit. When I'm making blouses, I'm making woven fabrics, okay? I have a whole bookcase of woven fabrics out there. So that's Sally. And that's the line drafter, and this is the quilt I'm working on, and we're about to get Jerry's new barn put up. I actually walked over there the other day, and I took some videos. You want to see them? If you want to see them, look right here. <laughs> Burnside, I'm doing a video of you. <laughs> Explain to me where your new barn's going to be. This is our old barn. You can't see it, can you? Let me go wide. This is his barn he already has. Here was the deal, you guys. He got the barn, and I got the upstairs sewing room. <laughs> you remember that deal, Sideburns? So what's going on over here? I keep telling people about it. I thought I'd come show them. Out here right now. You're doing what? Determining how level the ground is out here where I'm putting the barn. Oh yeah? He put all of these rocks in here. All by himself. It's a whole gob of rocks with that tractor right there. The rocks are done coming, right? <laughs> they are. How many loads did it take? Eight. 
Eight loads. Eight loads. We won't say how much money it was. $3,300. Ah! Oh, there's your dozer. And so what's the deal, Neil? I'm going to put this on your shoulder so everybody can see the rock. It's exciting. So you had to level all that out with your leveler sticks? Yeah. Oh, there it is. See this leveler stick over there? That's how he does it. That's called a See? transit level joy. That's called a transit level joy. And so over there is a stick with a, a pole or a measuring tape. Oh, I can't tell what this camera can see. Right there, I think. Yeah. And so you, you, what's it called? It's one inch in that corner over there. So what do you do about that? I take a little dirt off that corner right there, one inch. Really? I do it with a rake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I have to put any more dirt, rock, or whatever in that one place or not. Yeah. If it's a, within an inch, I don't worry about that stuff. Yeah. Because they come out. That's kind of the way I am with my body. Well, they dig big holes. <laughs> Jerry's worked a thousand hours over here getting this. This was all trees. When we bought this land, it was like back there. See back there, all the trees. This entire entire place was like that. You couldn't even walk through the trees. It was so thick. Hey, honey, you can see your pond. It's full of water. That's the little pond. And then he built a big pond that's behind the barn. Can I see it if I walk back there? Can I yeah. see the pond? Yeah. See the rocks, guys? Is this exciting video? Tell you what. There it is. There's a big pond. Jerry did that. He did it himself. It took him seven years. Seven years to build that pond. That pond was done before you had cancer, right? Yeah, it's just nights and weekends. Yeah, we had a full-time job, you know. <laughs> we used to actually have to drive down here from the city. But he built that all by himself. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, and you want to see the tower? Look at that tower. That's where our internet is now. Way up there in the trees. Above the trees. Is that cool or what? I have really good internet here now. Look there. Are you excited to meet my Bootsy? And this one's Barney. Barney always throws himself on the ground and rolls upside down. And that means come pet me. You want to be in Mommy's movie? Huh? Come here, baby. Say, I am way, way too important. All right, the wind was blowing absolutely awful. And I'm sorry, it's not a very good video. It was kind of overcast and windy. But you get the idea. And in the next few days, that barn will actually be going up and all of Jerry's equipment will actually be going in. And maybe we can get a yard down here on this acreage that we own. We planted enough grass here to cover Oklahoma. <laughs> but because of all the trees, the grass just will not grow. So that's one of Jerry's retirement projects is to try to get a pretty lawn at this place. And... My retirement is finishing 5,000 quilt patterns that I have. <laughs> and doing so longs for you guys because you seem to really like them. Hey, comment below and don't forget, one lady said, hey, you need to remind people to give you a thumbs up. Give me thumbs up, please, all the time because YouTube really likes it. And when YouTube likes it, I have no idea what they do about it, but anyway, Instead of me getting arrows going down saying, nobody likes you this month, <laughs> I get arrows going up saying, everybody likes you this month. So please, if you think about it, always click on that thumb underneath the video. And if you haven't already subscribed and you like me, please subscribe because YouTube likes that too. Viv has a really fun pillow. I wish I had one. I should make myself one. I think Colin got it for her, but it's a real cute pillow and she hardly ever shows it, but it has this big red pillow and it says subscribe on it. So play like my house is safe. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. <laughs> Bye for now. I'll be back soon.